What's up, Doc and fam? Welcome back to All the Humanity. In today's video, we're gonna be summoning on that Vegeta banner one last time. And the only reason why I'm doing it again is because last night I hit the banner. I was feeling pretty lucky. Got up to our fusion, got four SSIs. Didn't get Vegeta, but I did pull Super Saiyan 3 Bardock. I pulled my final dupe of Tapo, which now I will be making a showcase video of him this week for you guys. And I figured, you know what? There's a chance I might get another Vegeta, so I'm gonna hit it again. Now, a couple things are gonna happen. Number one, make sure you guys click that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss the God of Destruction Topo Showcase video, as well as me running through the EZA uh, event on my next live stream. And number two, I actually already summoned on this banner and I filmed it, but I got a new camera and this camera requires me to turn on the mic versus just plugging it in. So the whole video has no audio, but I have, <laughs> I record the game on my phone. So we're just going to kind of almost like, it's almost like a premiere of a premiere where we're going to watch it together and we're just going to narrate and talk about it. So sorry, it's a little cheesy. But it's still so pretty hype video. And I, I already know, because I know what I pulled. <laughs> so let me just push play on this. I know, I know, guys. I'm so dumb, I forgot. We'll just say it's leftover flu. So obviously, we got the Father Son Gallic Gun uh, banner here. If you don't have these units, I already have them all maxed out. Then we have the Realm of Gods banner here. The only unit I need on this banner is Weirus. I have every single one, uh, uh, all except for the, um, the North Kai, whatever the hell she is. Except for her, I have her with like one or two dupes, but for me it's not worth chasing her or Weirus uh, on that banner, so I'm gonna skip it, and I'm just gonna go for full power Goku uh, and the new Fizz Vegeta. As you guys know, I already have Int Vegeta. I don't know why full, full power Goku is eluding me so much. Like every banner he comes out on, I just can't pull him. I can't pull him, I can't pull Friggin' Pure Saiyan's lead Vegeta, and now this Vegeta is just like in my face all the time, but... Well, I know what, I know what's gonna change! <laughs> Some pretty cool stuff is about to happen, so let's get ready and watch. But man, guys, like, I was just so toast last week. I didn't do, I couldn't get anything done. It was insane. All right, let's see. So we're starting out, we got our Bidoc, we got some, we got Cheesy Piccolo. Cheesy Cell Jr. Not too much fire coming out of this one, which I didn't really expect much fire because the, the, the pull before this was literally a Patora Fusion. So if you get a Patora Fusion, you should expect to pull kind of garbage. Either really good again next or absolute garbage. It's not really going to be anything in the middle. But the funny thing about this multi, which you guys are going to see in a second, here it comes. Here comes the twist. Here comes the twist. Freaking Weirus shows up on this multi, and in the original video, it was so funny because I was talking about how I'm not gonna pull for Weirus because I don't need him, even though he's a great unit. Uh, I think he turns all int key spheres to fizz key spheres, so if you got the right um, items out, you can get the whole board uh, fizz pretty easily. So, or if you're running him on a fizz uh, type team. It's really good. You'll watch a super attack basically every single turn that he comes out without any orb changers. So he does really good, but I didn't really need him, but I'm not unhappy that I got him. And here we go. What's up next? You know, I just did this like literally two minutes ago and I already forgot what I, what I pulled on, on half of these. We did end up doing four Maldives. This Badok showing up a lot. You know, I still have, like, the urge to tap the screen with my thumb, even though I know it's a recording. Oh, I hate getting that card. Yeah, we got Gohan. Oh, yeah, Android 18. Ugh. That might be the last one I need for her super attack. I've been boosting her real slow with, with basically dupes because I'm not going to put Kai's into Android 18, into strength Android 18. Oh yeah, and I got a freaking Gotenks. Ugh, terrible. Nobody wants to pull Gotenks, especially when you got a transforming Vegeta ready to go. All right, what's next? What's next? But I'm actually really excited. So I built a really cool team to showcase my Topo. 
um, I did a Realm of Gods team where I basically got Godly Power, Shocking Speed, and Fierce Battle Links with as many units as I could. So it should be pretty cool. It should be a pretty cool um, way to showcase him. And I might actually showcase him on the Broly event to get that type advantage, the strength type advantage. All right, so we got a Gohan and Gohan. I think I pulled three SSRs on this one. We'll find out. Botamo. Oh yeah, Trollhan made an appearance. Yeah, thank you, Trollhan. I appreciate you. Appreciate you uh, making an appearance, bro. <laughs> oh yeah, Sin Shenron. And then we got one more. One more SSR, which is a Tapion. I already have I already have Sin Shenron. I already have Tapion. I already I already have every single SSR here rainbowed. But it was a really good pull, so I decided to do one more. And I'm glad I did! Because the Spirit Bomb Luck made an appearance, and we are about to pull a Vegeta. If you want to guess which one it is, type it down below now. And make sure you smash that like button if you enjoy my video. Alright. So I thought Yamcha flying in was going to just absolutely ruin it for us. You know, we had Tien and Chaozu, so guaranteed, we're guaranteed a featured unit. And then Yamcha flies in, and everyone's like, meh. Maybe we won't give you a, future, a featured unit, but we got it! We did get it! And it wasn't Chaozu. Dory is dead. <laughs> so are you, Birder. There he is! So this is my first dupe of Int Vegeta. Which sucks, because I really wanted Fizz Vegeta. But getting my first dupe of Int Vegeta, get that bottom right path open, I think that's pretty cool too. So, and I've been boosting his super attack using all the SR Vegetas that I'm getting from these Maltese. So it's not so bad. I already have him basically at super attack 10. I got a few more to do. And now I'll have that bottom right path open. Now I can put all kinds of uh, orbs into him. We're good to go. But this, this kind of sucked because I just rainbowed him and I don't need any more. But there's lots of other Super Saiyan Gods, Super Saiyan Vegetas that we can use to boost the super attack up with him. So, it was a pretty fire video! And I'm not gonna make the mistake of forgetting to turn on the mic again. But guys, remember, seriously, if you wanna join me for my next live stream, click that notification bell. And if you enjoyed my videos, please show some love and smash that like button. Good luck to you guys. I hope you get better pulls than me and you pull yourself a Fizz Vegeta. I'm not selfish. I'm not gonna, just because I didn't get it doesn't mean I'm gonna wish any ill will upon you guys. So hit those Maltese, rip that Fizz Vegeta, and as always, more good stuff coming soon. See you guys.